Pros and cons. Pros and cons, I'm just going to get my little slide up. So, go on then, talk to me about some pros. pros. I mean, we've kind of touched upon some of these well, already, Number right? one, it's really tax efficient. It get, it, it, so, uh, it's main, really, the main really, really, <laughs> tax efficient. It's, it's, really, it's, it's really tax efficient. It stops 24, section 24 tax. That's it, you're done. Yeah, mm-hmm. done. Um, if you plan correctly and you invest correctly, corporation tax Just is something Remind me on, on section really 24, get. though. Mm-hmm. In your personal name, you, you get what twenty percent tax credit. All so it's not for, all, yeah. It's not, yeah. But you only get twenty percent. You, I know you, you have of your mortgage interest, though. Is yes. that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In a limited company, it's all of it. All of it. Yeah. Yes. Which is a big deal if you have mortgages. But it's the difference. massive. Yeah. It's, it's the extra eighty percent. It's more than profit. It's more than yeah. profit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's tax efficient. Um, corporation tax is generally right now. Corporate, corporation tax has gone up a bit, yep. and um, but don't don't forget, all tax has gone up a bit since uh, since COVID. It needed paying for. Yep. Simple as that. So if you if you look at simple, corporation tax has gone up, not all tax has gone up, and um, we're all paying slightly more tax. Corporation tax generally of all the taxes is the most stable and favourable. Yep. It's like and it's only gone happy. up if you make more than fifty thousand pounds profit. Of course, so you pay nineteen percent mm. on the first fifty thousand pounds. I forgot on that. And then up until two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. It balances out to twenty five percent, but there's a relief rate, so you pay twenty six point five percent on anything over fifty thousand. So you start at nineteen percent up until fifty thousand pounds profit, and then it slowly creeps up until twenty five percent. It's good having an accountant here, isn't it? Um, I have completely forgotten that. Yeah. Now, of course, that is percentage on profits. Profits. Yeah. There's loads of stuff. And there. if you invest in the way you invest, in yeah. the way I invest, yeah. and there's lots of refurbs and lots of things going on. Mm-hmm. It's easy to alleviate. Here's something to touch on, and I know it's always a question. Um, when, let's say, refurbishing, mm-hmm. let's use that word as a neutral word, yep. is it capital or repair? So, it depends on what's being done. Very important, guys. Make some notes. This is really important. <laughs> it's also important to have videos and photos, which we always do. Yep. If you replace, it can be as silly as this, if you replace a fridge with a fridge freezer, the fridge is a cap, uh, not capital, it goes against your revenue. And the addition, the, the thing you're adding, goes on to your capital. This is important because when you pay tax at the end of the year, any revenue expenditure comes off of your profit mm-hmm. in that year. So when refurbs are happening, if a kitchen is being refurbed and it's got 10 cupboards and it's replaced with 10 cupboards and it's not thick marble and it's a, an improvement, it goes all off of your tax, reducing your corporation tax. And if you have just started investing or the, the, the speed at which you're investing, your company goes into a loss, which can be carried forward yep. indefinitely as long as, the, as it's the same income. So with a little bit of planning and speaking to the correct people, it's the most tax efficient thing to do with property, in my opinion. I work with lots of people doing everything in the property world, and this is what I do, and I see everything.